people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people, the first part of the video is called Be very careful of who, which part, and where you trust, especially when you go overseas. If you are a returning resident or even if you go upon some sort of farm program. Now, people, we said that lately there has been a whole lot of disturbing trend. As it pertains to a 72 year old returning resident from Canada, he came to Clarendon and people, he came on Thursday and by Tuesday he was taken out. So, people, in this case and next case, one more case we are speaking about in Clarendon once again. It is that this man that just returned from the farm program we are speaking about overseas and his name is Ryan Jess O C A K A Bud. It is said that he just returned to the island and basically he was at a place called Sansan we are talking about in a Clarendon. When he was approached by two men who basically brandy some sort of tool and wet wet him up we are speaking about in the upper body. And people, it is said that he was taken to the place of recovery. However, he did not make it. And this incident was said to have taken place yesterday at about 5 p.m. Now, people, when we think about stuff like this, like I said, we saw the disturbing trend. We see a family member, a set of family member coming from the airport. We see a brother take out, brother, sister take out, brother for house. All sorts of property, gold sheep, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. And people, I can just imagine that this person was taken out. He might have been, and people, again, I am just speculating. I am just talking about possible scenarios. He might have been overseas, sending some money to people in a Jamaica, and people, when him come back, them don't have him money, or even him can come back with some sort of money, and people, them know same have money, and basically set him up and take him out, and then want his money. Or basically, he could have also built some sort of property, buy some sort of livestock, and the people them want in things them so people may not know however whenever we see somebody coming from overseas and within a couple of days they are taken out so people we can only come to the logical conclusion that he did not commit any sort of crime in a Jamaica he not do nobody nothing however people want his property people want his goods people want his money so therefore we are speaking about jealousy and covetousness once again point blank and period so people, me just as say, when you look at the next incident like this, we see the very disturbing trend we are speaking about in Clarendon. We are talking about the returning resident from Canada. And if we also put into the mix, we are speaking about that lady that was taken out, the business lady from Clarendon, no, sorry, Mandeville, Manchester. And her name is Marcia Chin Yu. Yes, people, she was in some sort of relationship with some young youth that she was supporting. And she was supposed to leave and go to Canada. And the man take her out. Him and his other friends. We are speaking about a next man and a next businesswoman. And people, fast forward once again, we are speaking about in Clarendon this incident. So, people, it only shows you be very careful, especially if you live overseas and have some workless family in a Jamaica. They will set you up, they will take you out for your property, for your money, for your jewelry for your cash whatever it does not matter these people are petty and they are wicked they are evil us point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also please subscribe to this channel through Jamaica Buzz and when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now people, it seems as if a curse of evilness is taking over Jamaica and people with this as some innocent hardworking youth is getting taken out by some scumbags in a society. And people, I am speaking specifically about an incident that occurred at about April 22nd, 2020 at about 11.30 a.m. in the morning. And I am speaking about a person whose name is Damian Clark O.C. Dupic. Dopey coal. So therefore you know that he is haunting the place and he is also black as ever. And based on the information, it is that Mr. Clark is charged for the slap away of 21 year old delivery man. I am speaking about a gas delivery man and his name is Neville Gooden Jr.
So based on the information from the popo, it is said that Mr. Gordon received a call from Mr. Clark to deliver some gas and when he went to the location in a place called Salt Spring, he was approached by Mr. Clark and Mr. Clark pulled out a tool and basically wet, wet him up. And it is said that Mr. Gooden was taken to the place of recovery. However, people, he did not make it. And Mr. Clark took away himself. And it is said that on the 26th of November 2020, Mr. Clark gave up himself to the Popo because he was on the person of interest list by the St. James Popo. However, people, he got an interview from the Popo and they basically arrest him on the spot and charge him for the slap away of Mr. Mr. Gooden. So therefore, we can come to the logical conclusion that the Pope had probably cause that this man was basically guilty of taking away this man's life. Point blank and period. Now people, when we look at a situation like this once again, we see the very disturbing trend where some low lives in society are taking out some productive persons in a society. Because based on the residents, they say that this man, Mr. Gooden, he is a hard working man. He is not a crime producer. He is not involved in any sort of crime. So people, we have to ask the question, what is the motive? Why was he taken out like that so coldly? And based on the report from the Popo, this was no type of robbery. So therefore, robbery was not the motive. So people, obviously, this was some sort of hit. This man was paid to do something and he did his job and take with the man. And people, like we see, he was on the run for a couple of months. We are speaking about from April to November. So therefore, he is now in the custody of the Popo. So people, the moral of the story is this. Why commit any sort of crime only to get caught a couple of months later? What type of money did you get paid? What was your motive? What did you achieve to be a scally? Dep on the run for a couple of months and then locked up and more than likely going to get a couple of decades if he is proven guilty. People, it makes no sort of sense. It is mind boggling. It is kind of crazy what is going on in Jamaica. However, every day we get up, we see the same old same. And people like them say, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now people the next part of the video is called all the good places in jamaica is getting bad i am speaking about those rural tranquil areas that are not known for any sort of violence and we see that the bad place are getting worse around. Now based on the information it is said that four persons were caught up and wounded in a place called Guava Gap. I am speaking about Stony Hills. I am speaking about in a rural St. Andrew. And based on the information from the commanding officer of the St. Andrew North Popo I am speaking about a person whose name is Aaron Fletcher. He has confirmed, however, he says that he does not have any sort of motive for the incident. However, based on the information from the top cop, it is said that four persons were caught up and they were taken to the place of recovery. And it is said that one of them is in serious condition and the other three, they are in stable condition. And based on the information from the Popo, it is said that the four men, they were playing cards and playing dominoes. In the vicinity of a bar when some people roll up in our car and alight it and start to blaze up the place and after the smoke cleared the four men were basically on the ground they were down however they were not out so people the top commanding officer he is saying that he is perplexed he is wondering he is pondering because that neighborhood it is not known for any type of activity such as that especially this type of serious thing in which four persons get caught up one time so they want to know what is going on they want anybody with any type of information to contact the popo and they say that they are doing all sorts of investigation they are probing to make sure that there is no type of retaliation and make sure so them basically cut this off where it started people it is very bad so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your view views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up